Barbara Sheehan is back in paradise. Between Friday and today. Pix11 spoke exclusively with the 52-year-old at the same Howard Beach home where she shot her abusive husband, Raymond, 11 times back in February 2008. What's it going to be like tonight to, to be home, to sleep in your own bed, to have your son here, and, and to know that you're back where you feel you belong? It's going to be wonderful. You know, I still haven't gotten in that bathtub that I want to get into. <laughs> but I'm going to because I have too many people coming over. But I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to relax, and I'm going to climb into my bed, and I'm going to be, it's going to be very, very peaceful. And hopefully I'll get a very good night's sleep tonight. Sheehan was jailed for nearly two weeks. On Friday, her family endured an emotional grinder of jailhouse musical chairs. She's out. She's back in. She's out. Ultimately, she stayed put. Sheehan admits she did not know what was really happening on the outside. No, I didn't know until they called me out of my room and they told me to come to intake, which I was very excited because I thought, okay, great, I'm going home. And I said, give me my bag so I can pack my stuff. And they told me, don't pack. And at that point, I knew I, it, that was not a good sign. That was a very difficult, very difficult night. Between Friday night and Saturday morning, it was very, very difficult for me. During our front porch conversation, she had provided a candid assessment of her life behind bars and shared her personal scorecard. Frustrated, yes. Upset, yes. Justice system, cannot discuss. <laughs> Very upset with that. Corrections department, fine. Um, inmates, wonderful. Did the other female inmates know your story? Yes, they all did. They all knew my story. And you know what? They were all 100% behind me and... Building 8, I love you, because they were there for me. Sheehan says that this last stint at Rikers triggered something inside her. In fact, while out on bail, and, she and plans on returning to jail. But it taught me that there are a lot of people there that have nobody. And you know what? Maybe that's where I need to be sometime, to help those people. So you have blueprints to, to work with prisoners in the future? Yes, I do. And I have, I have a lot of phone numbers and, and inmate numbers. And you know what? That's where I'm going to do. I'm going to do that because that's where I belong. And I hope that I can. I'm, I know I'm going to lose my job in a couple of days, but that's okay. Because whatever I can do to help somebody, I'm going to be able to help them. She had told me that she doesn't feel as if she deserves to lose her job, but she understands the Department of Education's viewpoint. She also added that she is confident that she will win her appeal and ultimately get her job back. Reporting from Howard Beach, I'm Mario Diaz, Pix11 News. We now head to Brownsville.